Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25174. As I've said, this is the latest build that Microsoft released on the dev channel today. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about the changes, the improvements, and also the fixes that were applied in this build. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is introducing the new Game Pass widget. This widget is a window to the extensive PC Game Pass library. It will show the latest additions, games leaving soon, and other from highlighted categories and then take you to the Xbox app when you can install them, see reviews, and everything else. To get started, you have to open the widgets board, of course, and then click on the plus icon. And then from here, you should see the new Game Pass widget and add it into your widgets list. Of course, you can take some time until you see it on your widgets list, but you can add it, of course. For me, this is really not that interesting or useful because I don't use Xbox or something like that, but maybe for some of you, it could be useful. Regarding the file explorer, some changes, middle clicking a folder in the navigation pane of file explorer will now open it in a new tab, like clicking a folder in the body of file explorer already does. And of course, this requires tabbed file explorer, which hasn't rolled out to everyone in the dev channel yet, but I've showed you in a different video how to manually enable it, so you should have, so you shouldn't have any issues. Unfortunately, this is all there is to it regarding changes and improvements in this build. A smaller build for Microsoft, but of course we're going to talk about some fixes that they applied in this build. So first of all, regarding File Explorer, they fixed an issue which could cause Explorer.exe to crash when opening a new File Explorer window. They fixed an issue where launching File Explorer in certain ways when using dark mode, for example from the command line, was showing the body of File Explorer unexpectedly in light mode. They also fixed an issue where the left slash right arrows in the File Explorer were in light mode when you were using dark mode, causing them to not have enough contrast to show when they were enabled, fixed an issue where the dividers in the navigation pane were overlapping slash drawing too close to the text sometimes. They also fixed an issue where if you drag and drop a folder into the navigation pane was sometimes unexpectedly putting the folder at the bottom of the list rather than where he dropped it, fixed an issue causing UI issues in File Explorer when using F11 to put File Explorer in full screen mode. Regarding the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue leading to various system tray elements being unexpectedly missing from some insiders on the previous build. Regarding settings, they fixed a crash on some PCs we're experiencing when going to system, then storage, and then disks and volumes. And other fixes, they fixed an issue which was leading to mouse and keyboard input not working correctly in certain games in the last two flights. They fixed an issue believed to be leading to SQL Server Management Studio failing to launch for some insiders. They fixed an issue where memory integrity and window security might show a warning saying it couldn't be enabled due to incompatible drivers, but the incompatible drivers list would be blank. And they also fixed an issue which was causing some apps to unexpectedly not launch in the last few flights when core isolation was enabled in Windows security. So basically, this is all there is to it in the build 25174. You can check out the list of known issues in this build in the article below in the description. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.